Okay, on the left, play as the yellow Latin Confederation, we have Kurosaki. His teammate playing as the purple Psycho, we have Dark Emblem. Their opponent as Team Super Angel, we have LHJ, and his teammate Singh playing as the Magenta Psycho and the Sky Wings of Coronia, respectively. Okay, so Super Angel took the last game at 1 0, with where TY and Dark Emblem had the starting initiative against them, where they were able to keep them contained, but the ch wrong tech tech up choices resulted in the fact that they couldn't exploit the initiative and then they got speed of trikes too late it's as simple as that really they probably actually could have had a ch chance at winning if they were able to handle Tanya IFB with speeders which TY was able to do with his own speeder trikes he just couldn't be there every time for Emblem and when he wasn't Emblem took the hardest hit because Emblem didn't have speeders so at that stage it's a case of well shit well, what is Emblem going to do? Right, Singh here, able in here with the Lancer Scout. Tanky bugger, there are three initiates, aren't going to cut it. it. May not get away either way though. It is being chased, but there is a second Lancer here. It does seem a little bit odd that the phone player is doing most of the scouting in comparison to the Epsilon player. I haven't seen the spook down here from the, from the HJ. As it is entirely Lancer based and with the mad lads actually get there. As one Lancer in particular gets away, that's a 500, that's 500 quid safe. This Lancer, not going to be so lucky. There we go, he's dead. So, in Limbo, one thing I should mention for those of you who were not here at the start is that Team Super Angel did in fact actually try to ban this map, but they didn't have the chance to ban it because the Mark Retta fanboys here had already picked it as the second map to play. So this is obviously not their ideal map to play on, and they would have banned us if they'd been... Well, they had the chance to ban it, but they banned other maps first. So... Honestly, down to them on that. As we see what looks like to be a fairly standard infantry build-up from the HJ here. We've got a single stinger out there, ghost minor production on the field. For some reason, there's a toxin cloud there, probably from something that got killed by a stinger and it does damage a ghost miner but not that that's particularly significant fast pandora hub here from the hj it looks like he's going to set himself up for early marauder production checking more spooks in the bioreactors just as an insurance policy as we see a fairly standard conscript build up here from ty as emblem also going for the initiate build up and is hj's Spooks are now retreating to regroup with his main army. Got four ghost miners out here for um, for Emblem, and I believe it may be four or five. Oh, maybe only four here for HJ. As we see the first Marauder on the field here. Emblem likewise going for a slightly slower Pandora hub. And there it is. I imagine we're going to start after this Ghost Miner see a tilt into their own Marauder production as we see another Bioreactor on coming into the build queue for him. TY here, again continuing to build up a large amount of conscripts and flag troopers. We're seeing a couple of Terra Drones here. I'm going to see a third Terra Drone as well. Also sitting comfortably on five Miners here, but he'll want to expand that. Phone doing relatively average on 8 minor mites. We're starting to see the first Draco tanks on the field. They've got quite a comfortable economy, but they're not spending it on night frames, being dedicated largely to Draco production. I'm not entirely sure if actually the Dracos are going to be tough enough to get a decent crushes here if TY remembers that the X key exists. And he has got three Terra Drones here. They could pop up the phone infantry force quite nicely. You're going to have to be careful though. Those Lancers. Don't? Oh no, I think they do get caught up in the oil derrick explosion. And I'm exactly looking very healthy. See repair drone called in. So we see radar spire here from Emblem. As Emblem works into making his own Marauder. Still seeing Marauder production here from HJ, though I'm not sure where the first one's gone. I know there's one there, but I think that's just the second one. But it looks like, no? 
No, this is still the only Marauder for H well not was the only Marauder, still seeing more in production. Guess he switched back to Ghost Myers after the first one. As we see TY returning the favour of his opponent. Oh hold up. Oh that could be Oh dear that Honestly, fairly even, but still a fairly juicy oil derrick explosion as all of this phone infantry is actually quite heavily damaged here. Marauder shows up, gets a shot off, then runs away. As we're starting to see Borrellos come into play, more Jacko tanks on the way. T.Y. no longer making con- nope, back on conscript protection here as he goes into tier 3. Starting to see a couple of roadrunners out here as a few more marauders from HJ and now forming a response team in order to try and bully Emblem. However, Emblem gets the mind control off on one of them and they instantly shoot it in respect and Emblem loses nothing. That's a fairly solid trade right there. Son Sonic Emitter tells T.Y. to fuck off as I hear something getting crushed but I have no idea what it was. It must have been a Einstein. Uh, Roadrunners move in out here trying to take out some of the Jaguars. They get two, but it looks like one Roadrunner goes down. You may see a second die. Oh no, the second one gets away, but barely. Phone infantry open up, then retreat. Another another Roadrunner suicides itself. Sec third Roadrunner suicides itself. As we see a couple of mind controllings go off here, but they're spent on initiates and other miscellaneous items. Phone infantry just continue to press forward. As the Roadrunner dives straight for one of the initiates, doesn't get the kill though, only damages. As they continue to just mind control here. Draco tanks, however, going ham on the on the Jaguar tanks. They pick up a Borrello as well. No crushes, however, from the Coronia player, which is a little bit odd considering he does have to spin blade. He can easily go and crush all the infantry and have numbers advantage. Libra on the field for the HJ here. As it is shot up by Marauders, Emblem Zone Libra coming up here. Honestly, the cycle fight fairly even here. Slightly in the favour of Emblem because he has Libra on the field, but that can be solved with a couple more Marauders on the field. Somebody depowers themselves. There is a structure being sold off here. I think it was the Epsilon player as they got Psych Pug. Being shot up a bit by some initiates. Another repair drone called in 40 white as Morales joins the field as well. No tier 3 yet for the Coronia player as Libra gets counter sniped, or at least I think that may have been a Huntress. Yeah, no, because Libra. Yeah, no, Libra's just out on the field now, so that was a Huntress. My bad. As these Draco sit comfortably in the ore field, having received free healthcare. But uh, we're still working on tier 3 as Morales is now on the field trying to snipe the Cloud Piercer, but the Roadrunners tell him to back away. Looks like is gonna try that again. He needs to as he needs to keep his force closer to Morales rather than just Morales taking point if he actually wants to be successful with that. But he doesn't really have enough anti-tank. He's gonna try it again. Roadrunner's moving at oh no, they're auto-acquiring. See beacon here for the top for the Marauder force from HJ. He now outnumbers Emblem. And I'm not sure if Emblem. I think Emblem still has Libra, but Libra's going ham because he desolated with Snipe, he doesn't give a fuck anyway. And successfully counter snipes Libra here, as it looks like these Marauders from HJ are just going to get cleaned up. Two ID pilots won. Roadrunner's starting to get very angsty here, but they've not found any blood yet. Draco depiloted, spawns a drone anyway. Always a little funny that. Do you see a bunch of Libra clones here? From the HJ. Target acquired. As we see Morales acquiring another one. That's just a spy plane, not the X Mix here. Although it seems that the Menti Y moves Morales Morales the minute the, the rogue is trying to come with something. So he is very much alert for the Roadrunners here. As currently now does indeed have tier 3, but no Eureka. Oh no, Eureka is already on the field here. Okay, never mind. Are we going to see Curtain? Do I not building Curtain, but his economy is in the gutter here? The, we're seeing a large nanofiber sink here from the phone player as these roadrunners keep getting angsty. Morales trying to take out the Coronia in tier 3. He is this time well guarded. The roadrunners commit to it anyway. It looks like Morales is in fact killed in the action here. As the Roadrunners complete their task, we're going to see friendly fire from Eureka. Oh no, that was close. Okay, so no damage here from Eureka. 
but it nearly was quite a large amount of friendly fire. The Mark Grotta fanboys here, their economy is starting to suffer a bit. Emblem's the only one with a decent base crawl. At TY, yep, yeah, there we go. TY now moving his MCV here, as he should be, considering the state of his economy is non existent. Uh, La HJ having replicated what Emblem was doing just on the other side, and it looks like Singh is himself stuck here, but he's doing better economically as Rogue Runners move to trash TY's tank blob here, as the only anti tank here is three Mortar Trikes, um, what was Morales, and a single catastrophe here, as Desolators can't target Rogue Runners. Uh, T.Y., that's on entirely on you because you only put desolators in there and Roadrunners are, are radiation immune, you wally. So, yeah, Roadrunners are a fair and balanced unit in this case, but in this scenario, you actually want to build Field Bureau as Latin here, simply so Tesla Troopers serve as a bulky meat shield and anti armor against Roadrunners here. You can't single-handedly rely on Desolators here. That's why Roadrunners have punished you so hard. You only made Desolators out of the infantry queue and there were no field of Tesla Troopers. So in that case, you actually had it coming. Because it looks like the mind control and counter mind control here as Emblem's winning the Marauder engagement here, but T.Y. himself has lost his entire army to the Rogue Runners, due to his lack of anything other than the Desolator. As it looks like he's now going to lose his nuke reactor to King Screams. And I believe this may be Goodnight Vienna for the Mark Rutter fanboys. Which is a tragedy because they've had the initiative at the start here. But it looks like neither of the players here have actually had the game knowledge to actually continue their breakthrough and maintain the initiative here. They've always lost it to a counter-attack or sub-description as they can't land a decisive blow that they otherwise would have been able to land if they'd either, in one particular case, made the right tech unit, gone, sorry, made the right tech structure, in Emblem's case on the Scorpion Trail game, Pandora Hub. In T.Y.'s case this time though, he would have been able to live and he would have been able to prevent as much as he actually made Tesla Troopers in this case. So this is down entirely to what I would say by the Mark Rutter fanboy's lack of game knowledge right now, as T.Y. himself suffers from what appears to be the production bug, as the game is already over, however.